six years ago. It's a very important introduction. Six years ago, my next two guests announced their wedding plans. And to be honest, they surprised, I think, almost everybody in the country. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome for the first time together on TV, Daniel and Magella O'Donnell. A lot of icons on the show tonight. I'll tell you. How are you two? Very good. We're great. Oh, you're looking great. Do you know that? You're looking fantastic. Now, I think I'm right in saying that this is the first time that the two of you have been well, it's on, on together. Yeah, isn't it? it's the first live. We did it. We did um, a recorded show with Jerry Kelly in the North uh, a wee while ago, but uh, this is the first live appearance, as we can be live. <laughs> or as live as we can, can be. be. <laughs> it's a double act, folks. We're in trouble. Here. It's a double act. Now, um, how long are you married? Six years. Six years. Uh, on the 4th, 4th of November. November. Can you, who proposed to who? Well, I proposed to her. Yeah. Uh, and, over uh, the phone. We, we, she threw her mother over the phone while she was sitting know. beside you. It's yeah, very complicated. Say, it was a wee bit complicated. Yeah. We met in Fancy 19, that from We you. met in 1999 and um, then we got engaged Christmas Day 2001. And we were up in Donegal and uh, it was Christmas morning or just before dinner time and uh, my mother and Kathleen, my sister and all the family were in our house for dinner and a few neighbours, and um, I had the ring already, you know, and uh, I was trying to get her in a quiet moment. Is it a decent so I, ring, is it? Oh, I, oh, sure, oh, it's a mighty, it's a mighty rock altogether. I have one to go with every outfit, actually, it's not just one. <laughs> Do you hear that? Do you hear You're that? Reckoning balls. When you push her down there, she's going above her You're station. Reckoning balls. He's trying to tell a story. But anyway, we, uh, we, uh, Eventually, I said to her, did you ring your mother? And she said, no, I, I'll do it later. I says, go on and ring your mother on Christmas Day. So she picked up the kitchen phone and I says, will you go into the room? I says, we'll have a bit of quietness. Yeah. So she went in and um, that was when I got her in the quiet and she was on the phone to her mother and I, I took the phone off her and I says, Marion, I have a bit of business to do now. I have to put a a ring on your daughter's finger. So Marion was crying, she was crying. We came downstairs and everybody else was crying. So it was a, a typical so happy an Irish crying. occasion. <laughs> and how long did it go on for? I mean, how long did this proposal take? Oh, it didn't take too long. No, 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 oh, no. God, no, it was a quick But did he actually did, uh, say Jerry, the words? The, the I mean, did, he, no, no. did he do the. No, 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 no. no that was it. He asked Wait, me through the Would you do my it mother. now? Would you do it no, now? I would I tell you? <laughs> you, we, you we couldn't take long because the dinner was ready. <laughs> So you weren't down on one knee? Well, I was kind of, you know, I was kind of like, you know. I mean, good, I, I was, I was, me, Jerry. I was, I was 40, like, you know, when you wait that long, you have to be careful <laughs> on the knee. <laughs> now, of course, you said yes, and uh, well, the, there began probably one of the most um, fascinating stories um, uh, for any Irish couple, because the papers went berserk. I think I recall talking to you on the radio programme as well. And everybody was, who is she? What is it? What's going on? And there were all sorts of things. She'd been married before. She's two children. Will they get married in a church? And I remember he came on and said, you know, I don't give a fiddlers. I love her. I love her. And that's it. I think there was a lot of, of um, questions at that time. You know, I suppose it was a wild shock for me, being me, I suppose, that uh, Majel ended up being divorced and, and had, the, had the children. But... I mean, at, at my age, um, first of all, I suppose, before I met Magella, I, I, I was very content and happy, and maybe I didn't even think I would meet somebody to just, settle down with. Just Ludo with. and darts for I you. Know, well. <laughs> <laughs> maybe just the Ludo. The darts would be too dangerous for me. <laughs> Probably. But anyway, uh, when we met, um, we just hit it off, I suppose, right away. And then there was a period when I questioned it, when I knew it was getting serious, I suppose I did question the whole thing of, of Magella being married, even though 
uh, her and her husband were already divorced and they'd been separated for a while. And um, we, we, we parted, you know, or we, we stopped seeing one another for a while. He finished, and, Richard. And, um, yeah. Was he going through a terrible crisis, was he? Blew me out, he did. Just, this isn't working, I'm sorry, you know. And what was your reaction to that? Well, I was terribly disappointed. Oh, she was very cute. She said nothing. She knew it. <laughs> she, she knew I was going to come back. <laughs> Well, of course, you were getting old, you needed help with your jacket and stuff like that, you know. But anyway, I suppose after a period of, of uh, a couple of months, I realised that, you know, happiness is something that if you find it, you should grab it with both hands. And I, I, I thought that um, whatever difficulties we might face, be it in, in the religious sense or whatever it might be. But you didn't face it was, any difficulties. Really. No, At the but, end of the day, I think no, there was a tremendous warmth. Oh, I know, yes, but I suppose you. you have all these questions, you know. And I realised then that, you know, to be happy was more important than all of the other obstacles. And, and we just got together and it's the best thing I've ever done in my life. Now, I know, yes, and that is what love... Believe you me, love is always worth applauding, isn't it? Now, I, I know you have two children already, and this is one area that I know that both of you find a little bit difficult to talk about, and you probably, you know, had your private chats about it, and that was whether you would have any more children with Daniel. Um, the men tend to be a little, to be honest, a little probably less interested in that until it comes along. But you did want to start a family, and that didn't work out for you. Mm. Was that a big disappointment? I don't think so. I mean, I, I probably wanted it more for Daniel because Daniel didn't have any children. I had my two children, so um, I really wanted to have a child with him. But it just, it, it just never happened. We didn't do anything to prevent it, but it, it didn't happen. It says happen. here in the notes, they tried very hard. Yeah, we did. Yeah. <laughs> That's good to know. I was we worn did. out, yeah. <laughs> We did. We even went so far as to be checked and we were both fine, but it just yeah. didn't happen. And people kind of say, oh, come on, when are you going to have children? But they don't seem to think that. Well, maybe it just... I did, did, you, did, you, did, you, did you hate the, you know, when are we going to hear the patter of tiny I feet? I, I, I actually think that people think we're younger than yeah. we are, you know. Because maybe what, what I'm doing or what... You oh, know, maybe because you're your hair, your hair, you <laughs> said. Your hair. <laughs> Thank God to still have, have it. Because you have hair, you see. <laughs> but, you know, I'm, I'm, I'll, be 40, I'll be 47 at Christmas and Magella is I'm just... 49 coming on, you know. So. so I think that, you know, you have to accept at some point that this, you know, is not the way God meant it to be. But we have... I mean, I'm delighted to have Siobhan and Michael yeah. in my life. How do you get on with the... The, t the, the two children from Magella's previous Very good. marriage. Yeah. They're, they're, they're great young people. Siobhan is nearly 21 and Michael is 18 and they really are. They're fantastic. I mean, we had, um, before uh, we got married, like people, some people would have said to me, oh, you, you, will you have difficulties with the stepchildren or, you know, sometimes you hear these stories. Not but if you give them money. Uh, <laughs> Well, now, if you knew me, Jerry, they're not going to get too much of that either. <laughs> but, uh, no, we had no bother at all. I think maybe uh, they were anxious that Magella had somebody in, in her life because um, the first time we met uh, was in the concert hall in Glasgow. They were only about, I would say, maybe 13 and 11 or, you know, 12 or 13, Siobhan was. And the first question that she was asked, is, that, is Daniel O'Donnell your boyfriend, Mum? And there was no question of it, it was just a friend, you know. So I think they, they wanted Magella to have uh, somebody in her life. Well, I mean, um, you know, I think really at the end of the day, your family should, and most often than not, do step up to the bark and, and hope for happiness for you. Mm. Now, um, and you know, I was a good, like? uh, like Jerry, I was a good catch, you know. Oh, you were, yeah. <laughs> you were, you still are. Um, you're gorgeous. Um, <laughs> Steady what? on, Jerry. Steady he, on. You're, uh, is he difficult to be with? Is he? No, no. I, I, yeah, I'd like to be able to, you know, say, oh yes, he's this, that, and the other. He's no, very. Is he too easy? easy.